All eyes on Mayor Muriel Bowser, and the big questions are, when and how will she reopen the city for business? We've got some answers tonight on what her task force is suggesting. For starters, don't look for a return to full indoor restaurant service until there is a vaccine for the coronavirus. I talked to D.C. Council Chairman Phil Mendelson today. He's on the mayor's task force. It's not going to be until we're further along with testing, a reduction in the incidence of the virus, uh, the availability of PPE before restaurants will be able to fully open. In fact, I believe restaurants will not be able to fully reopen uh, at this point until we have a vaccine. Until, wow. Could be a year away before restaurants are fully open. Sit down yes. restaurants in the district. But then we're looking at other mitigating approaches like allowing them to expand outside um, as well as when they open uh, on a restricted basis inside, fewer people, that means reduced capacity and maybe physical uh, separations for people. So they'll be able to reopen as our health indicators improve, but they won't be able to fully reopen. Okay. Um, are we going to have school in the fall? What's the task force saying? Uh, we will have school in the fall, but school is going to reopen gradually. There will be distance learning as we have now, and then there will be uh, the students can come back to school on a restricted capacity basis. Uh, again, it, it correlates with where we are in terms of uh, the incidents. Right. You like the plan? You like what the uh, task force has come up with? Well, I don't know that I should say this publicly, but there actually was a... Um, a meeting of the steering committee with Dr. Fauci today, and uh, he indicated that he thought that the plan is very well thought out. Wow, Dr. Fauci likes the plan. That's good news. I'm told by people close to the mayor that she's not going to be announcing any changes to her stay at home order tomorrow, so don't look for it. Sunday would make 14 consecutive days with no increase in the rate of positive coronavirus cases, though we do expect the raw number to climb just because of increased testing. 